Hi there. Um, let's talk about wedges and spin. Um, there's been quite a few posts on the forum since our last update. People saying, oh, I can't get the ball to spin, it's unrealistic, the ball rolls out too far, uh, blah de blah. So, let me explain a little bit about how to get the best out of the spin and, uh, you know, from a gameplay perspective as well, why we've set it up the way we have. So let me change to a like a pitching wedge or something. Now if I go ahead, I've got it on easy mode at the moment so it doesn't make too much difference if I miss the snap, but if you miss the snap and you're playing uh, on click, or if you um, get your ratio slightly wrong on motion swing, you will lose spin. In other words, the more you miss it by, the more spin you will lose and the more the ball will release out. So we give a uh, a premium, we give a reward for somebody who's skillful and can time it correctly and hit the snap. So it's not just about going straight, it's about getting the spin you you want as well. Um, so let me go ahead and hit kind of a more or less 100% shot. That was a little bit less, that was kind of a 95% shot. And we'll see what happens. This is just on normal conditions with virtually no wind on a dead flat green. So you can see that it's rolling out um, eight yards, um, which is uh, it's more or less like 20, just over 20 feet, um, which is not too bad, um, considering that um, you know, you've kind of you've hit less than 100% shot. Um, so the ball's gonna sit down reasonably quickly, just even with a, a full wedge under normal circumstances. So what happens if you're playing downwind or you're playing to an elevated green or the pin's tucked behind a bunker, you're going to need more spin, right? So what you need to do is start planning for that when you're back on the tee. This is no different than real golf when you see pros laying up with irons. It's not just about to hit it straight, it's about to get themselves in an optimum distance where they can get maximum spin on their shot. So let me go back and do that again, but this time I'm going to hit a full shot. I'm going to hit maybe um, sort of halfway into the uh, extra power zone here. Okay, that was a pretty bad snap, but hopefully it won't make too much difference on beginner mode. Okay, so we've got a bit more spin on that one. You can see that one sat down a little bit quicker within five yards. Um, so that's kind of like 15 feet of uh, from pitch to finish. If I show the replay of that, I'm going to do the static reverse so we can see this. It comes down and it sits down pretty quickly. Um, so what if I need to really attack a tight pin? Well, what I would do in that situation is I would lay a little bit further back so I could kind of hit a really full shot in. Um, now, you know, a lot of people say, oh, it's unrealistic because I have to go into the overswing area. Don't think of this as overswinging. This is just extra power. And the more power you put on any individual club, the more spin you will generate. Um, you know, that's real world physics um, and it's no different to perfect golf. So, you know, but what it, what it does mean is that only the most skillful players will be able to go into this zone and create the spin they need to spin it back to a tight pin. Um, now from a gameplay perspective I think that's great because you're rewarding somebody who takes the extra risk. If you don't want to take the extra risk, well that's no problem. Uh, or you maybe you drive too far so you can't get the extra spin but you're going to have to suffer the penalty from that and you might not be able to get it as close as the next guy. And that is the essence of gaming and sport the better people have an advantage um, and that's exactly the way it should be. So let me go into the uh, overswing area here. So I didn't quite go maximum overswing but watch what happens to the ball now. It's going to pitch a little bit further and all of a sudden we start to get a bit of spin back. Okay, so that's now sitting down um, within like three yards of it pitching. It bounces forward and then spins back a little bit. And this is a dead flat green. Um, most greens in real golf angle slightly towards you. In other words, you're always hitting into a slight upslope. That's going to exaggerate the spin. You know, so your ball's going to come in, it's going to pitch into the upslope, and it's going to get more spin than this. Of course, if you have a green that's sloping away from you, well, 
you know this this quite often hap happens with maybe fictional courses or um, some of the more devious real courses where the, the the architect has built up the back of the bunkers in front of the green so it slopes down from the back of the bunker so now all of a sudden just carrying the bunker is going to pitch you on the down slope and, and shoot you on so you know that's where you have to know the course um, you have to use the cams available um, to kind of recon the shot you're about to play and figure it out you know plan it out have a strategy once you have a good strategy th then you can execute it let me um, go back and change my club to let's say 56 I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to uh, go into the extra power zone Okay, so now we're getting quite a bit of zip back. You can see that if I go, you can actually see that's kind of bounced, bounced forward and spun back to kind of, so it's effectively finished up where it pitched. Um, again, I'll go into, uh, I, I love the static replay. Gives a really good perspective on these things. And there we go. So it's not, I mean, <laughs> To some people, it seems like a bit of a black art, you know, trying to get the right spin on the ball. Um, but if you plan your, your your attack on the hole well enough, and you put yourself in a good position. In other words, don't leave yourself in a down slope to a green that's sitting above you, because you're going to hit the ball with a flatter trajectory. You know, there's going to be more forward momentum when the ball pitches. It's going to have less opportunity for the spin to to grab. You know, these are all real-world uh, factors that, that real tour pros take into account. Um, you know, this is not an arcade game, although you can play at a beginner level, the, the physics stay the same. So, you know, if, if you're going to take the risk, you will get the reward. Um, I'm going to do another tutorial on, on uh, kind of course strategy and uh, thinking your way around the course to give you the best chance of doing a, a, a low score. But uh, I hope this helps in the meanwhile.